Okay, let's see if we can make that brick disappear by hitting it with the ball. Did we hit it with the ball? Oh, I know why. Because that only checked once when the green flag was clicked. So what we need to do is put that into a forever block. Forever. If so. Every uh, constantly we will keep checking this condition. So let's see if that one. Oh no. Okay, now, um, great, we'll stop it, restart, again the ball goes back to the paddle, and we're in that paddle tracking mode, and the brick reappears. Um, nothing too thrilling about that. What we want, however, is for this ball to bounce off the brick. And remember, we figured out the bouncing commands. I think, um, just to make this a little bit simpler, instead of having two different commands for what happens if the ball bounces off of this side and the ball bounces off the top and bottom like we have here, let's instead, uh, I'll just add one bounce. So let's do the, the vertical bounce. So when the ball hits the brick, we're going to want to make it turn 180 degrees and point in the, that direction. So let's go back to brick. Let's call it's call it brick. And we will say what we need to do is when this ball touches the brick, we're going to make the brick pay attention. Already the brick notices, okay, the ball's touching me, therefore I have to hide. Now the brick has to tell the ball, hey ball, you touched something, now you need to bounce. And we can do that pretty easily. We're going to click this broadcast, and we're going to say new message name, and we'll just say, yeah, I don't care, we'll just call it bounce. And we could call it cheese, it doesn't matter what we call it, but we'll call it bounce. Now we'll go to the ball, and this happens constantly. Every single turn, it's going to be running through this loop. We're going to add something else. It says, when I receive bounce, then what the ball should do is, let me do this, I'll pull this block out. I'm going to right click, duplicate this block, put that back where it was, and now I've got to duplicate it. Okay. So, let's see if that works. Fire. Yep, it bounced. Okay. To make that brick reappear, we'll start. And now I use the stamping tool. And when you've done that, then you click on something and the, you get a copy. And I'm just going to drag a couple copies. Click if I click and hold down, the cursor turns into the copy. So this part of the of the game is a little bit tedious. And let's see how this goes. Boom, boom, bounce. Bounce, bounce, yep. Yep, that's probably too easy. Makes it all disappear way too easy. So you could, you know, make the ball move faster, make the bricks smaller, make the bricks move, whatever. Um, this is another little bit of thing that's a bit tedious. Uh, now let's say, okay, if I wanted to change this. Let's say that gray brick looks silly. What if I want to make that look a little bit, a little bit more kid-friendly and vibrant-colored? No, 
a brick colored brick is just a little bit too uh, realistic and boring. So let's well, heck, let's clear the whole thing. Let's get that and let's put some I don't know some cool looking thing inside there. Let's give this cool looking thing inside there some kind of a there. I don't know what that is. But the um uh, the problem here is now all these other bricks, you know, they're these are all separate copies. And this brick has a script involved. So if I wanted to do something like you know, play a sound here, I'd have to make all those changes here on those other bricks. So for now, let's do all these others because I'm going to do one more thing before I'm done with this. Okay. So now we've got a what they call a costume. Um, if you have a web camera, you can add pictures in here. So let's get some pictures. This is, let's try this. All right. Okay. Let's do a little Brady Bunch thing going on here. We won't do the entire grid. I think that's probably enough for now. Uh, I think you can probably figure out where I'm heading with this. I'll make this brick so it uh, it does not rotate. This is, of course, way too big. This is the shrink button. And let's get the script so that forever if Put that there. Let's get that one down there like that. Yeah, put that in there. Okay. Forever. If the exposition of ball is less than the exposition of this brick minus 20. Drop that in there. Okay. So if that is true, then go under looks. Switch to costume, and let's name these costumes meaningfully. This is down. This is. Well, I'm looking to my right, but we'll simplify and say left. And right. Switch to costume. Right. Easier to do this way. Let's do an. Let's put this. Let's do it this way. So if that is true, then switch to costume right. Otherwise, switch to costume left. And we'll deal with down in a minute. So first, oops, I got that mirror image. Okay. So easily done. Change that to left and that's to right. Okay, that's more like it. Okay. 